The bill itself is, is of great merit, and I commend it to this House. I call Dr Deborah Russell. Yeah, thank you. I'm delighted to have an opportunity to speak on this bill in the committee stage. It was an excellent bill to work on, uh, and I think I uh, really thoroughly enjoyed working on it with colleagues from across the House in a very collegial and collaborative process. I want to speak about the supplementary order paper which uh, Mr Seymour has brought to the floor this afternoon. And I rise to oppose this supplementary order paper because it would undercut the entire bill. It would just totally subvert the purpose of the bill. So I want to talk about what's going on here. Look, the credit union sector in New Zealand is very, very small. There are about 13 credit unions, about 13 entities that are going to be affected by this bill. And we went, when, when, the, when this bill appeared in the House, there was a great deal of consultation uh, about it, and we got submissions from, I think, virtually all the members of, of the friendly societies and credit union sector in New Zealand. And the interesting thing is that those submissions were kind of split down the middle. Right. Some of the credit unions were very strongly in favour of this legislation, and some of them were very strongly opposed to this legislation. Now, one of the reasons that those who are opposed to it said they were opposed was because they were worried about mutuality. Now, mutuality is a very important principle of credit unions. It's about the members helping each other, and it's an ethos they all buy into of people helping people. And they do marvellous work. Look, credit unions will open bank accounts for people leaving prison. They will open bank accounts for people who are homeless. Or well, they're not bank accounts, they're credit union accounts, but they function like that. They will provide financial services for people who can get them nowhere else. So they really do provide a marvellous role in our society. And uh, as far as I can tell, the, the, the people who are involved in credit unions do really look after their members. It's what they do. It's about mutuality. Now, some of the credit unions who were opposed to this bill opposed it because they thought that mutuality would be taken up. And we specifically put in a clause to address that. So at the, at the select committee stage, we specifically addressed that worry. So whatever reason that credit unions now oppose this bill, some credit unions still oppose it, it cannot be because of the issue of mutuality. So perhaps it is around the issue of the costs of incorporation, but I think we've just heard some very powerful evidence that actually the costs are not a huge amount. They will, there will be a cost. But it is not a huge amount. So I don't think that that argument is going to hold water either. So why and then should we introduce what in effect would be two separate regimes for a very small group of entities? Look, there are only 13 entities involved in this, and instead of having one set of rules for all of them, this SOP would then end up with us having two sets of rules for just 13 entities. So instead of, you know, that, 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 that seems a very odd thing to do, to introduce yet more complexity into this sector of the economy. And um, I think one of the things that this, we've been asked to do as a parliament and at the select committee stage is to make a judgment. Right? We don't just follow some sort of, you know, well, we, we don't just follow some sort of process of, of, of voting or of trying to weigh up preferences, as members of parliament, we are asked to reflect, to consider, to debate, and to exercise our judgment as to what is the best position for us to end up in. Now, in this circumstance, where with the credit union sector was actually, you know, some of them were in favour of, of this particular bill, some of them were against it, we have been called on to make a judgment. And the judgment of the select committee, and the judgment, as far as I can tell, of all the parliament bar one, is that, in fact, we should adopt a more contemporary structure for credit unions. We should have a structure for credit unions that is consistent with what the rest of the world has done. And we should, in fact, try to make sure that the structure that credit unions use is appropriate for the 21st century. And that's the structure of incorporation. 
while retaining mutuality. And for that reason, I reject this SOP. I urge the House to reject this SOP. And I support this bill. I call Stuart Smith. I seek leave for all provisions to be taken as one debate. Uh, leave is sought for that purpose. Is there any objection? There appears to be none. The question is that parts one and two, the schedule, and clauses one to three stand part. I call Paul Eagle. Thank you, Madam Chair, for. Uh